So in this video, I'm going to work through two proofs to show you a little bit more of proof by deduction. Okay, because usually that is the most complicated one because you need to go from a worded problem to algebra. Okay, and sometimes that could be quite difficult. So if n is a positive integer, show that n squared plus n is always even. Okay, so usually what I suggest when you see some algebra that's given to you in a proof question, if there is, if it is not in a factorized form, then I factorize it, and if it's in brackets, I usually expand it. Okay. Obviously, that's depending upon the problem, but as a general rule of thumb, that's kind of how these questions usually work. So n squared plus n, it'll make more sense to us when it is factorised. So I can bring n out of the bracket and write it as n lots of n plus 1. So now what you can see is that you have a positive integer n multiplied by one more than the positive integer. And so this is the product of two consecutive integers, consecutive positive integers. So it would be like 4 times 5, or 100 times 101, OK? So it is the product of two consecutive positive integers. And I know that positive integers go even, odd, even, odd, even, odd, even, odd. So at least one of these must be even, and what the other one will be odd. So one must be even, and one must be odd. OK? And when you multiply an even by an odd, you always get an even number. OK? And so n squared plus n must always be even. It's like saying, well, this then must have a factor of 2. Because if one of them's even, I can bring a factor of 2 out. And so this will have a factor of 2, and so must be even. So your answer to this problem must go through this logical process, this deductive reasoning. Okay, That is proof by deduction. It doesn't have to be just algebra. It can be you explaining it in words. One thing implying another thing. How about this one? Number two, prove that 12 is a factor of 3n squared plus 6n for all even positive integers n. Now, there is a slightly harder way of doing this. Okay, I'm going to go with the easier way. Okay, And I'm going to take from this the fact that n, we know, has to be an even number. Okay. So because n is even, it must have a factor of 2. So you could write n as 2 times something. OK? So because it's even, it's two lots of something, some other positive integer. OK? So I could then replace the n in this with 2k. So 3n squared plus 6n would become 3 lots of 2k squared plus 6 lots of 2k. Now, 2k squared is 4k squared. So 2k, rather, all squared is 4k squared. So 3 lots of 4k squared is 12k squared. 6 lots of 2k is 12k. And now you can see that you could factorise that to bring 12 outside. I'm not, I haven't completely factorised it because I could bring k out. But this clearly shows that 12 is a factor. Okay? So 12 
is a factor. And that shows that 12 is a factor of 3n squared plus 6n for all even positive integers n. Okay? And that's really the easiest way of doing this. And it may look bad. Okay? It may look horrible. But a useful technique is to remember that if you want to talk about a positive integer n, then you could write it an even positive integer n. Then you could write it as two lots of k, for example. And if you wanted an odd number, then you could replace n with 2k plus 1. That will always be odd. So that for an even number, that for an odd number. Okay? And you can use those techniques in these harder proof-by-deduction problems.